All right, everyone, welcome back to another, I guess we can call this Nobody's Play. And uh, we're back here at Monster Prom. This is our second week. And I believe this is our last week, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, uh, this is we only had be the weeks. top of the last week. Okay. Yeah, we got we got morning, lunch, and then afternoon. All right, so... Uh, the prom itself. The prom itself. Let's uh, get to it. Who goes I'm first? I'm going to go to... Uh, can't go to Gaim. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to Gaim. I like how I try to hover and check the stat Maybe. cards, and I was like, wait, I'm not the one controlling <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You uh, gotta wait your turn, motherfucker. Actually, let's see. Do I want to try and boost? I'm just going to the bathrooms. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I respect no authority. But I don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! Griffey says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall. The deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And I gain two boldness. <laughs> oh boy, that's an opinionated wall, but lucky you. Later, you see that Polly is even more excited than usual, and you decide to see what's going on. Hi. Terrell. Terrell. You're muted. <laughs> yes, I know. It's clearing my throat. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta get ready. Me, <laughs> 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 I gotta get ready to die again in case she just goes off on another <laughs> drug tangent. Um, fuck. You know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get She's it? The best girl, goddamn. <laughs> I've been Jesus Christ, goddamn it, Jenny. Um, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. Get it? And I think I finally figured it out. <laughs> Who I really am? I mean, my soul emoji, the emoji that speaks the truth of my soul. Oh, oh, I was beginning to like you. Now I'm like. Eh. <laughs> I think a lot of people who, uh, <laughs> I think a lot of people would say I'm like the winking of ghost emoji, or the, huh? The paella. Oh, the paella. Oh. The paella. Or the paella. Yeah. The, pa the paella yeah. emoji. But those are just who I am on the outside, you know? I swear to God, that's a hard word to pronounce. My real soul, uh, my real soul emoji is pink heart with a blue arrow through it. It's like, I'm sweet, right? But I've also got a dark side. Plus, an arrow through the heart is how it was killed. <laughs> Wait, okay. but you said thinking too hard is how you was killed. Yeah, yeah, don't she, ask. She, don't, she said so don't hard. ask. She thought so hard it got her heart pumping, and that just made the arrow kill her faster. <laughs> so, so shot through the heart? And she's yeah. to blame? Um, maybe. The jury's still out on that. But does she give love a bad name? You My no, like she's so not so taking part of that. With the ribbon around it, because it's right next to yours in the selection menu. <laughs> Oh, my soul uh, emoji is air horn, loud and proud, big into hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I have to go with air yeah, horn. Yeah, she's, like gonna, she's going better. to like that one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. maybe. That's the less cringe also, one. I how about this? The... What does your heart tell you? Yeah, air horn. Oh, oh. oh what? Oh, wow. I'll never trust you again, Pete. I, I said, what, what does your heart tell you? All of us, you, don't, all don't, of us don't are on the yourself. same page. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, yourself. kid. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Damn it, we didn't. Damn Dude, it, you mean, you mean though, you gotta believe the heart of the emojis, man. That's, yeah. Oh, that's 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 the especially true the, one. Especially the heart emojis. Anyway. Oh, I'm surprised. Terrell. Oh, have you ever heard of it? Have you ever heard an air horn before? Look, I'm gonna completely forget that I'm her. Oh, oh Everybody. <laughs> That's so true. But I can't even do that. Everyone knows they go brand, 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 not brand, brand, brand. Oh, fuck. That's scary that I was able to do that. God. You must be really boring if you don't yeah. even know what an air horn sounds like. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, All ooh. right, she is no longer best girl in my <laughs> eyes. Yo, she's coming. She's, she's coming out of here just spitting fire. God damn. Oh, oh, Jazz, what are you? A functional adult person with a fine taste in music? Go away. You lose two fun and one charm. 
I love that even the narrator turned on me. Yeah, Doug, I don't agree with it at all. Doug, she came for your throat, man. I feel like you need to go to the hospital for that burn damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no hospital on this list. So, Freddy, <laughs> where are you going? Is that a class, I guess? I haven't been there yet. Gotta learn. That day you learned a ton of spells that are all cool and as... As cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew sticker stickiness. That's totally useful. Yeah. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Wait, what? A spell to gain plus two smarts. Alright. You actually used that last spell and gained plus two smarts. But... <laughs> you hang out afterwards to impress Liam with your sweet Instagram filters. You're really making some headway. When? Oh, who's gonna do this uh, flamboyant motherfucker? Oh, the, the, I, not me. Uh, Never fear, right. board teen. I am here to yeah. rescue you from the drudgery of high school. Sigh. I suppose your heart's in the right place, but I'm afraid there's no experience novel enough to conquer my limitless ennui. Not even marrying an interdimensional prince? No, not even that. What about marrying an interdimensional priest, ironically? My god, it's so disruptive. It may be the most disruptive thing ever. Oh, it seems the prince has bewitched Liam and his idiotic proposal. All is lost unless you can think of something even more disruptive to marry. A unicorn with a toilet on its head? Or the concept of marriage itself. So I don't oh. know what to pick for this guy. He's like... <laughs> He's really weird. Yeah. To be fair, they're all really fucking weird. Yeah, but someone of me could be like, okay, you know it's this one or this one. This guy's just right, like... How about this? How I feel this like funny? it might be the concept of marriage itself, but I'm not sure. I was gonna say, go with your heart and then choose the other one. <laughs> but Because that, that's where this game seems to be going at this point. But I listen, don't listen to me. Choose whatever you want. Yeah, let's go with the concept of marriage itself. It's a big risk. So smart. But you can't marry marriage. Or can Maybe you? you? Can. But that's only because you do not possess the soul of a poet. Don't you see the brilliance of this scheme? Um, no. Marriage is monogamous. If I marry marriage, then no one else can marry. It's the most disruptive marriage of all. So long, posers. I'm off to deflower the precious social construct. This will surely put a stop to the prince's practice of proposing marriage to random high schoolers. Yeah, that... Mm. So as, soon it as, looks Liam, good. as soon as Liam figures out how to actually marriage, an abstract concept. Meanwhile, you gain two creativity and one smart. Alright, I did something right for once. Yeah! <laughs> he actually followed the heart of the cards and it worked out. Yep. Take me to the outdoors. I need to get fun. <laughs> wow, that pose. That day during recess, half hour rave, you know the drill. Juan the small magic Latino cat seems a bit sad. He explains that you he's uh he explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan the small magical Latino cat that now everyone finds him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's so much more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient def 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 definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other wands in this school, so adding all that to his name is quite necessary. Oh, you tell him I know you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures of both uh, you both lived together in Monster Prom C Prequel, Monster Middle School. <laughs> you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. Hey, I'm so, sort of fun now. As you wander around, talking to yourself like a weirdo, you notice Miranda walking around, talk to her, talking to herself like a weirdo. She seems to be addressing an imaginary crowd. Oh, hello. I was just practicing my royal way for when I am crowned prom queen. I feel there is a lot to be learned before I ascend the throne. But there's no... Naturally, naturally, as a princess, I am already great at wearing crowns, talking to cute animal friends, quelling rebellions through excessive force, and singing uh, sweetly. 
but I lack administrative experience. I have never so much as issued a decree. I wonder what my first should be. Is that what all those administrative assistant jobs have been about? <laughs> no wonder I could never get one. <laughs> you don't have the heart to tell her that the role of prom queen doesn't come with sovereignty. Maybe you should just give her some suggestions instead. Taxes. Taxes are fun or paint every student pink. <laughs> so, alright. So, in my head canon, she has, there's like some rando who just happens to be like, just shows up randomly when she, whenever she talks to Stan, sense is like, but that's not how this works. Here's a question. Do you guys think in this universe my character is not colorblind? Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> <You're so> <laughs> <wrong>. <laughs> So wait, 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 wait. So if, if she paints every student pink, do they just turn invisible to you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should choose that one just on account of principle. Let's do it. Okay. This is, it's writing on the walls. Where? I don't see ah, it. Yes. <laughs> paint. The great equalizer. How much more docile, more uniform, more color coordinated they will be. Of course, I suppose people have other distinguishing features that paint wouldn't take care of. Some have fangs, for example, but that's an easy fix. We'll issue prosthetic fangs for everyone. <laughs> or even easier, simply remove the fangs of anyone who has them. Yes, a good starting place. We shall go from there. Everyone will be so pretty. Oh, watch out, Liam. Uh, uh, you maybe just have planted the seeds for a rather unsavory political regimen, but Miranda is excited about it, so yay! Sorry, fellow students, you gained two fun and one creativity. I'm getting I... so fucking fun right now, guys! Uh, how, is... <laughs> how is that fun, though? <laughs> Are you going auditorium? Pink is fun, guy? Terrell! Uh -huh. I, I wouldn't really know, I can't tell. I'm, going to go I'm to sure the it is. Make some dosh. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, oh. That day, you spend some time on the library's PC playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you gained Plus two money dollars. You're walking with Liam later, when suddenly a holy crossbow bolt slams into the wall next to you. It's the Slayer. Prepare to die! Prepare to die! Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry for people who are listening with headphones. We need you to tone it down. Okay. I, I saw it. I had to go for it. Flee with Liam and manage to get out of sight. Now is the perfect time for you to hide while Liam turns into a bo bat. I almost said bone. <laughs> 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 One of the twin powers he activate. Into he turns into a boat. It's canon now. But he's not transforming. You ask him why the hell he's just staying there instead of changing into a boat. It's just, it just seems a little cliche, doesn't it? A vampire turning into a bat. Honestly, I'm over it. Boat. If I could turn into, for example, the concept of a bat, now that would be a change. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a change worth making. You don't even know what that means, but if you can't get Liam to turn into something soon, he'll get you both caught. You quickly tell him to change into a hot dog stand or a general feeling of unease. What would happen if a boat was an actual option? I think I would. Have to, I, would I think I would have to have left. That, that would have been some epic. It's like that's it. There, bud. I'm done. It's like I, I have reached the pinnacle of my power. I will be seeing you all next week. Pete, I, I am Noster. I am Nostradamus. Goodbye, Pete. I didn't know you worked on Monster Prom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have to say a general feeling of unease. Magnificent, the perfect balance of abstraction and practicality. I admit I have difficulty imagining the concept of a bat, but a general feeling of unease? Why, I experience that many times a day. Same here. Liam disappears in the proof of a purple smoke. You don't know where he's gone, but you're sure don't feel good about it. <laughs> wow, it worked. It... What's the matter? Do you have your shirt on inside out? Have all your friends just been pretending to like you? No, stop too real. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the Slayer bursts in. She takes one step towards you, then stops. Can I take the Slayer? She's got that that crazy eye, and I'm, it's doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like 
I left my stove on when I left the house this morning. Shit! Slayer flees to check on her stove. Liam turns back into a vampire. You immediately feel better. Oh man, my soul has never felt so tormented. You, you often look do so that happy more often. But no, you don't. You hope he decides to do it when you are not around. But you're glad he's happy. You gain two smarts and one creativity. All right, dope. I made money. I got smarter, and I got more creative. Did I choose a brand? Samsung. Gucci. Um. <laughs> oh my God. What's the um? Birdhouse. 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 Oh, Birdhouse. Is a skateboard company. Uh. I thought you said uh, Birdhouse. I was like, what? Monster Energy. <laughs> oh no! Fuck! I should have said Pepperidge Farms. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, based on how silly a mascot for the selected brand would be. I uh, mean, the brand already had a mascot compared to the imaginary ones. I uh, mean, what? Birdhouse only has an emblem, but the mascot I would only imagine to be a literal fucking birdhouse. And we got what Samsung and what? What was the fourth one? Gucci. Gucci. I mean, <laughs> I, this I don't know. We're all Gucci's too weird. clearly the best. Otherwise, do you just want to hit random? I'm okay with random because I don't. Yeah, know. I'm okay with. Yeah, random. random's fine. How is Gucci the best? Because it's a hilarious name. Fantastic. I'm last. It's all Gucci here. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know take how, your things and go. You don't know how many times I would hear no, that when I used to work. Yes, again. All right, yes. Terrell, where are you sitting? Yeah, you know where I'm going. Oh, you son of a bitch. Boy, what I have had lunchtime right? every Wait, single the fucking time. At the lunch table? <laughs> I don't know, I just no, no, saw no, no, that time. too. She Can we examine why the Slayer is at the lunch table with a vampire? But not only the she's vampire, going to kill him. but a literal devil. Well, she doesn't care about Polly that. And Vera on yeah, God yeah. Damn you. Look, I'm sorry your snake waifu is there. I'm, I'm trying to get with ghosts. Both my waifus are there. <laughs> I'm trying to get with ghosts. Polly at their table, deep in conversation. All right, business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, either, yeah, I would, yeah, I would pay that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no, yeah. Terrell. Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe also, maybe. Business idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. Business idea. Nip. Yes. I like yes. that one. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good game, everyone. Just is it. <laughs> nipples. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that that look on her little chibi face is priceless. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wait, wait. Business idea. Use clever marketing and food science to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, mm. a, that's actually that's a literal a idea. Real. That's yeah. actually a really good idea. Better than nipples? Uh, let's yes. not get ahead of ourselves. Let's we just need to figure out what our new diet product will be. Tapeworms. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, 100% organic. You can get them from <clears throat> free from sick cows. Or meth. It's what's for lunch. <laughs> I know who's going to like which one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, clearly meth. 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 <laughs> Meth for ghost, tapeworms for other. <laughs> oh yeah, you. Oh yeah, you know. I was just contemplating the other day that I made way more meth than I ever do myself. Wait. <laughs> Don't worry about Wait. it. Then I can ever do my. Wait. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, she made more meth than she can smoke herself. But she, she has Don't worry meth. about it. Don't worry about it. The like profit margin said, will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. You mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder? Or probably not meth. <laughs> 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 probably not, not meth. meth. Probably not probably, meth. Probably yeah, not yeah. What? Not meth? Yes, except for not either of those. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I got the perfect name. Don't say... Nipples! Well, Kill me. But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Polly makes a killing and drug deals turn to be turn out to be a very romantic bonding experience for the two of you. Um, damn, sure. 
Uh, put Pretty. me with the hipster vampire and devil and slayer for some reason. And the slayer. God, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna be fun. Cause I'm voicing but she's a ghost. <laughs> How does she make more meth than she can handle? Uh, she's a Don't poltergeist. It, they can manipulate things. Duh. You just sat down to eat with Damien and Liam. Well, to eat with Damien, Liam just taking pictures of his food. When the leather-clad figure drops from the air vent to your table, it's the Slayer. Lunch time's over, dirtbags. Time to die. Pete, bring it back. This always happens when we sit together. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck both of them, and they're becoming the same accent. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick face rhetoric is offensive. Don't spoil my food pick. Oh, I'll spoil more than your food pick. Count Stankula. I'm about to spoil your face. We get burned. Just his, though, right? Both your faces. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the Slayer is right behind, uh, between the three of you. You can't save Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might just be able to save one. Immobilize Damien with the Lord's Prayer while Liam escapes? Or you've been waiting for this moment your whole life. Flip the table for justice. <laughs> I feel like that would save both of them. I kind of want to flip the table, but... Well, here's the thing. One's definitely going to save Liam. The other's yeah. going to save possibly them. Don't, who do you want to save? I mean, I've been going... Liam is the vampire, right? That's who I've been going after. Yeah, yeah. that's him. I mean, it, listen, it, I'm, I'm just saying... This I game know. Is weird. I oh, want this to game flip, is really weird. I know. I want to flip the table at the same time. I do want Liam to escape, so... He might not be able to lift the table. He is quite meek-looking. That is true. Mobilize Damien. Alright. I just realized that ah. he has bike marks on his arm. You launch into a... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> you oh, launch. Yeah. To a heavy rendition of Our Father. You've done this loads of times. It's not that prayer has any kind of magical effect on Damien. He just can't stand criticizing it. Okay, first of all, he's not Our Father. I've got two dads, and neither of them is a holy asshole in a stupid cloud palace. And thy kingdom? What's that supposed to mean? Are we, like, praying for the end of the world now? Oh, sure. Beg him for your daily bread. What are you, in prison or something? Your omnipotent dad can't spring for better food than bread. Well, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, my hell. He's what going if, ham. What if you got a food allergy? Do you still have to eat the daily bread? Oh, this is ridiculous. While Damien continues to rave, Liam snaps a few more art artful picks of his lunch, then carries it to another table. <laughs> Ahem, are you done? Almost. I have a whole bit about the multiple papal revisions that really fucking vicious. <laughs> Close enough. Eat holy water. You can't eat all liquid. It's ah. Uh... Damien has a hard time forming any more iconoclastic opinions with his flesh on fire. He flees the cafeteria and you retreat to sit at Liam's side. Man, this has been a rough couple of weeks for Damien. First, we busted his phone, throwing it to a bunch of wolves. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of went on fire. Now that to he's a bunch of wolves, pictures. you mean one wolf with a stand? No, <laughs> uh, that that one wolf is actually a whole pack. Uh, now that he's done taking pictures of his food, he even lets you have some. This has been a real bonding experience. Let's do this. No, I'm sorry, stoop kid with a stand. I still want to know who the fuck that is, but I mean. You might want to buy something because you might be able to get a, you know, honestly, you might be able to get yeah. a gift for the thing. Let's face it, you're probably going to end up losing your money in some stupid way anyway. Why not spend it here first? It's just called being smart. Mm. I like this person's business proposal. Is that meth? That's meth. Whoa. It's nipples. Oh, that's, that's, that's nipples what? over there. Whoa. It... Why? <laughs> um, why? All right, what is Polly going to like? Besides, um, literally, those meth. glasses, most likely. I don't know. Wait, the meth. I, I'm He's too poor not... for this. Can't you? Oh, sorry, it's, 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 it's a regular. Pre it's a bag of regular cocaine. Yeah. Jesus Christ! It's, it's pre-meth. Uh, I mean, 
She did, uh, hmm, I don't know. Listen, you I'm do you. i go with this. Okay. Oh, these increase your stats. Oh, do they? Hmm. Yeah, because my fun just went up. Well, okay. The ones that are very obviously for certain people. Oh, uh, well, I'm going to go sit with my the mermaid girl who I've been going for, I guess, this whole time. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Ooh, what's this one for? That's the forking spoon. It's a spoon. <coughs> oh, God, I lost my voice. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a spoon for picking your favorite forks so that you don't have to touch them with your fingers. Wait. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that one? It's the tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned to A minor, as is proper. <laughs> Wait. What about this one? That's the dairy knife. It's for milk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, all right, no, I'm sorry. Now I got to draw a line in the sand somewhere. I clearly had to draw a line. What? The expression is just so perfect. <laughs> His expression is how I feel. Wow. Did people ever invent new silverwares? All the time, but none of them are any good. It would take a genius to truly sub subtly to... Uh, what? It would take a genius of true subtlety. Ah, that's how you say it. To improve <laughs> on the existing canon. A genius of true sub subtlety. God, I can't say that word. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. The salad harp. Or hands. Um, fuck, man. Uh, the The salad harp. All right, hold the phone. Wait, oh. don't click any further. Don't even read real quick. <laughs> just, just, I have to analyze this one. She already kind of hit it right now with, like, one of the thoughts I had. Nice. A heart for salad. <laughs> but, like, do is it, like, a salad of hearts? Or is it a heart that makes more salad? Like, No, you use the heart to <laughs> salad. Duh. It's, it's like a fork. Duh. It's a heart, you fucking savage. Fucking duh, Terrell. <laughs> Learn the lore. Just fucking use the harp fucking as like a God. fucking weird multi-threaded bow to just launch pieces of salad in your mouth. Clearly. <laughs> why? Ha why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat salad with a harp. Thank you, Creighton. Who says anything about eating? Isn't that what silverware is for? Perish the thought. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while you elegantly avoid your food. <laughs> wow, no wonder the harp makes sense. <laughs> and nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament on a harp while your serfs eat your salad for you. Which is oh. probably, probably poisoned. My serfs will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. Teehee. Miranda takes your harp shopping takes you shop <laughs> shop harping god damn it shop Miranda harping? takes you harp shopping with her it's a real bonding experience afterwards you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant yeah the worst part is she probably paid for that commission and exposure <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't have any money oh so... god i hate that oh my god i hate you right now because that makes <laughs> too much sense for that character <laughs> everyone she was a celebrity keanu reeves uh, um, Zach Braff. Um, Andy Dick. That was a um, the way Jack Black. Alright. Play our side on how weird a video game starring the selected celebrity would be. He well, already Jack has Black one. was already in one, so he's last. Fuck you. <laughs> I think Andy Dick would win that one. Yeah, Andy Dick gets that yeah. one. Yeah. And, uh, what was your Keanu thing? Reeves is Keanu gonna Reeves. be in one. He's yeah. gonna be in one, so you're second to last, which means Zach Braff is second. Yeah, I gotta admit, Zach Braff would be fucking weird. Yeah. That was yours, right? Yeah. And then that means the next one would be you, and then Terrell's last. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I just see Jack Black and I was like, how weird would it be if he was in a video game? He was already. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, Freddy, where are you going? Uh... Wait, check the stats. Oh, yeah. What does what? It's oh, the same it's, thing. It's all the same. It's okay. literally the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Alright, so I need more what? Charm? Um, which we did. I mean, if you're going but... for VM, you probably want smarts. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, creativity. I Throw all your eggs in that basket, 10. bro. All right, go for class. 
create I don't know, creativity or smarts, which one do you think? I mean, in all honesty, he probably doesn't care about creativity. He probably favors the bold. Alright, go for smarts. So that's what class. Uh, sometime, uh, you sometimes come early because you enjoy t talking to the teacher. He's a bit bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, excelling at cliched movie tropes. <laughs> you gain two smarts and one valuable life, life insight, insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. That's going to be right. the secret right there. That valuable insight is going to help him win. <laughs> <laughs> In art class, you have a hard time looking at the unspeakable eldritch relic you're supposed to be painting. You know, I just want to say about the word eldritch real quick. Mm -hmm. It kind of yeah. recently got ruined for me. Oh. Because it, it literally just means eerie and spooky. Oh. Mm. I was going to yeah. say, is it is it the fact that I can say eldritch, but I can't say the other word? Eldritch. <laughs> I can't even say that word. Would Liam and Miranda thankfully provide you with a distraction? What are you talking about, Miranda? That relic clearly represents the futility of man's quest for the meaning of a world of consumer goods. But how do you know that, Liam? To me, it just looks like a gruesome and horrific offering to a pitiless god like Uncle Anthema used to make. Anathema. Yeah, I know. I'm st I, I said what I said. I'm sticking to it. Why, it's easy, Miranda. When I want to discern the true meaning of a piece of art, I simply... I simply... Uh, make it up or look at the bottom and read the query printed label that explains the true meaning of the art why are they both blushing so hard is i don't know i don't know mm. don't didn't you blush this hard normally in, in high school <laughs> no no mm. i think looking at the bottom all right so smart Yes. Ridiculous. There's nothing written on the bottom of... There's <laughs> there's something God. written on the bottom of the statue. It says... The statue clearly represents the futility of man's quest for meaning within capitalism. Oh dear, Liam. It looks as if you were wrong. You said, in a world of consumer goods. That is capitalism. That is merely my superior vocabulary at work, Miranda. The artist was an eldritch sculptor, after all, not an art critic. Al, Liam, you're so smart and humble. <laughs> <laughs> Liam calmly accepts Miranda's sincere compliment, but when he thinks you're not looking, he runs around looking at the bottoms and backs of all the other art pieces in the room. <laughs> <laughs> You've clearly changed his life, probably for the better. You gain two charm and one smart. All right. <laughs> so fucking charming. All right, what do I got? I got... I mean, I'm really anything but class. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have okay fun now. I feel like I should maybe focus on charm. I feel like that's going to really get it. Really? For me. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Well, make a decision. Cause... Fuck. Let's go bold. Cause... Go, go bold. Bold, it's a bathroom. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bold bathroom. That day, you visit the bathroom to take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Oh my god. Look at you, you crazy bastard. Oh god. You what? gain two boldness and probably press one ste uh, Stephalock. Oh god. Hold up. I, I got even. Stephalococcus. With a slight chance of one STD. Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus, yes. Cannon. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. My great aunt sea monster, Unholy Terror, McCracken Face o Cthulhu, just received an award for her work with shipwrecks. <laughs> She's now uh, one of their leading causes. Damn. I want to send her my congratulations, but one of the postal service will, oh, uh, wait, wait, one from, no one. oh, no one, but no one from the postal service will go near her lair for fear of their lives. Oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time sensitive mission. Why is a letter of congratulations so time sensitive, you ask? Well, Fred. 
<laughs> Don't worry about it. It's because of, well, you see, it's it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to, well, do something congratulatory for herself. You know, just get her the letter. <laughs> Is something fishy about this request? Uh, but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. Hire Scooper, the underwater taxi service, to deliver the letter for you. Or dynamite the toilet, dive into the sewer, and swim there your fucking self. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh, let's go with Scooper. Not so well. Uh, I, I, about that. I feel like. Oh no! Said, that requires <laughs> money! If you could lose more money <laughs> with, <laughs> with just a touch of oh yeah, it's with me, with just a touch of a button, you're able to call a scuba diver to your school. You give him very specific instructions as to latitude and longitude, but conveniently leave out the part about the sea monster. A few days later, you see the fruits, Demir, of your labor. Um, a missing scuba diver turned up drowned in my kingdom, and now, and I'll. What? Jabra no, bra 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 article is accusing my father of kidnap and murder. You killed one delivery man for being late, and suddenly your every uh, driver found drowned in the car near your castle is your fault. Thanks for framing my father for murder. Who knows how many journalists he's going to have to take care of this time? <laughs> in class later, she passes you an index card with a frowny face drawn on it. Oh God damn it! All right. Let's get out of here. Let's do this. Oh man, I'm gonna go to the outdoors because I can work on my fun. Damn. Okay. Oh. Even I gotta admit, that is actually pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. Damn fire girl, you hot. Yep. That day during recess, half hour rave, the usual. You're talking to Quan. <laughs> He's well, always the there. Yeah. <laughs> when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary Fuck you, Juan. I I'm Bob I'm liking this several cat. times, open his bleeding chest and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. <laughs> I am I am. I hope I hope you gain at least three fun for this. I'm really turned on by this. <laughs> Do you think that's how it works? Well, it is. You get two. That's not bad, dude. I am smart, bold, charming, and fun, and I just ate a man's heart. And you're poor. At a rave. But, but you're broke as shit. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You notice Polly and Scott on the lawn doing something. Bounce, Polly bounce. chewing determinedly on a hula hoop while Scott slowly covers himself in sunglasses. <laughs> I know what this is. They're pretending to be each other. Are they? Yeah, because Polly always has sunglasses and Scott's a wolfman. Okay. Despite your better judgment, you ask what they're doing. Hey, bro. Yoga, bro. What does it look like? Never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> okay. Literal. Literal. Sorry, it's on. Liam said we should we should practice some yoda to cleanse our bodies of all the drugs and sores. Wait. And I yeah. was like, sure, I'll try anything once. So here we are doing yoga. It seemed like a whole lot of work to look up yoga on the internet. So instead, we just made up an educated guess based on. Actually, nothing. Oh, man. What if we're doing it wrong? Yeah, like, do you know anything about yoga? Do you have any tips for how, uh, for how to do yoga the best? Oh, I can only imagine. The... You need yoga pants. <laughs> of course. <laughs> man, I really, really hope that's the answer. I don't laugh if it isn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Honestly. <laughs> yoga pants. Are those pants that do yoga or pants made out of yoga? Honestly, I was hoping that wasn't going to be the right answer. <laughs> Neither, silly. Man, I can't believe I didn't think of yoga pants before. She means Y-O-G-A pants, as in yielding organic gun armor pants. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm on any of this bullshit. <laughs> I love it. They're what battle mix where when they want to breathe. <laughs> okay. I I understand. 
I really wish totally. there was like a face cam on me right now, because like you could just see me contemplating like a lot of things in those two segments <laughs> of silence. Oh, that makes so much sense. Of course you would want to. Yeah, of course you'd want to gun armor to be breathable and, orga and organic if you were doing yoga. Holly just happened to have two pairs of YOGA pants in her locker. She and Scott Wait. lay waste to the countryside and get super limber in the process. <laughs> you, you gain two creativity and one fun. God Wait. damn. But, but mechs don't have junk. Why would they need to be? What? No, it's, it's mech pilots, she said. Oh. God, oh, read your own mechs. lines to rally. God. <laughs> God, I'm girl. sorry. Sometimes she says some stuff that just. Makes How much me have, have you drank? All right. How much nipples did you do? Yeah. How much of the nipples did you take? Really Where are you going? Auditorium, library, Gaim. Uh, let's go to the Gaim. Gaim, it is. Wow, check out that ass. That day never got to take place. The match is so intense, both teams are so into it that you decided to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against part of the other team's charm. Oh no. Other oh, team leader's <laughs> charm at that. amazes your whole team and their spirit is fueled by determination, just like Undertale. Finally, you win <laughs> and take two charm from the other team's leader. She's now yeah, a bit less best. fabulous. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh, wow. Oh, Alright, great, here we go. Oh my god, did you hear that? Or did you hear? Yeah. They finally invented a tattoo gun that works on ghosts. Okay, that actually is kind of interesting. I'm totally gonna go get one as soon as school lets out. Oh shit, we should definitely get matching tattoos. You wanna? Of course you do. What are you, responsible? The important question is, what kind of <laughs> tattoo do you want to get? This, the entire text of the Necronomicon, you be the first half and I'll be the second half, or oh knuckle tats. <laughs> You get, you get part Yapar, and I'll get Tiapa Arti. Put your knuckles together, and you know what that spells. Party, party, party. party, party. Oh, party, party. Oh, party. I get it. Yeah, knuckle tats. Knuckle tats? Ah. Oh. <sighs> I didn't think the Necronomicon thing was work was gonna work. I honestly I think it's based on your fun. Oh I think that's the problem. So what would the Necronomicon thing be based off of then? Creativity. Smarts. Oh mm. that makes alright, some of these selections are making way more sense now that yeah, you mentioned that. I, I, that. I didn't know that that's how it's based off of. I thought they were both would be it would have been based points. off of one stat, not like yeah, I've Dale the knows the meta of this game and failed to explain yeah. it to us. Yeah, just <laughs> figured it out now. God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dale we're learning something. Yeah. All right. Play. Well, I lose out on fun. I know that. Wait, are you telling me that between the two of us, we only have enough knuckles to spell party three times? <laughs> <laughs> we need to Was get more people. Only? Was that your only concern? That's not nearly enough times. Everyone knows that the minimum number for nice. party is 69. Nice. 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 The problem here is so obvious. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. You don't even have fingers. I... What? Enough <laughs> fingers. Enough fingers. Ah. <laughs> uh, God I've been around. such a fool. Sorry, no hands. But I'm about to find someone with more digits. Like a Hecatonisher? Not only will that be useful for sweet knuckle tats, but it will also be good for other things. Wait, did you just <laughs> oh, the Hecatonkeries? My god. Yes, the Hecatonkeries. Okay. Yeah, because she's looking for someone with. Yeah, she's looking for someone with more digits. No, I'm aware. The only thing could think of. I, like I opened one of Zeus recently. <laughs> like opening jars of pickles. Later, dump, uh, Dumpus. Dump that. Wow, I gotta oh, write that man. one down. He yeah, I know. I gotta so start. I gotta start ruthless. using that. Later, you spot Polly hanging out with Lester Fingerbody. Damn him and his body made of entirely out of fingers. You lose two. Oh, I'm okay you. with that. I still keep high smart smarts and creativity. All right, fine, whatever. Guys, it's time. finally time. Who are you gonna ask <clears throat> to prom? Uh, to form? Liam. Prom. Liam. 
Yeah, I mean, he's who I've been going after the whole time. Best of luck, Freddy. Yep. Yes. I'm gonna go for Mermaid Girl. I've been working on that. I'm I'm hoping she'll forgive me for getting her father arrested. (laughs) Going for Polly. Are you both gonna go for Polly? Um, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a swerve. <gasps> oh, you're going for Snake Ooh. Girl? Uh, I think we're gonna go, go for Snake Girl. I'm <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah! <laughs> the Uber swerve. The guy who we've only ruined all day. <laughs> I'm going to attempt Vera primarily because I think creativity and smarts might help me on that one. Mm. Uh, maybe. Hi. She seems to be business savvy, so. Yeah, so yeah. All right, here it is. I don't. I don't see. Finally, fuck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. What? I'm sorry to tell you this, my friend, but I think your princess is another castle. (laughs) (laughs) Tee. Ah, fuck you. You were so ashamed by your failure that after prom you photoshopped Garfield into your prom pictures as if he was your prom date. (laughs) Jesus. Yeah, Garfield, the orange cat cartoon. (laughs) Not your brightest idea. Well, the amount of like copyright things that are in this, <laughs> like oh, they're this... in Instagram. And... Garfield's probably it's public funny. domain. I don't know. No, it's Maybe. not. It's anyway, definitely not. Definitely not. even with your Photoshop skills, and you Photoshop still couldn't now. Photoshop the sadness of your face away. Sad. Sad. Oh, come on, come on, come on! You finally pluck up the courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Oh, oh, damn. damn. <laughs> wow. she, okay, she that everything I can agree with. Everything that in I can that agree with. That's literally funny. everything has killed her. Damn. That... <laughs> now, that I can believe is... is... <laughs> Who needs prom? You focus on your career goal of becoming a renowned surgeon. You studied hard and passed all the tests. Poor I life didn't get to fuck a ghost, killed so what does it matter? <laughs> Unfortunately, no hospital wanted to hire you because it turns out that going to prom with a cool date is an essential requirement on a surgeon's resume. And so you never got a job, and in the end, you became homeless. Don't even dare to think uh, the monster prom isn't important. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if mine works, but I don't think it's going Same to. Thing. Same thing. Ditto. You're asking me to go to prom with you. Uh, that's me. You're asking oh, me to go to prom with you. Sorry, I'm focusing on my career. Yep. My career is not dating losers like you. Oh, God. Bye, loser. Am. This failure haunted you for the rest of your life, and you never moved on, becoming a total and constant failure. You never succeeded at anything ever again. <laughs> Except for that time you won at Monster uh, Got Talent, but your talent was being a failure at love. It astonished everyone how bad you were at romance. <laughs> All right, hold on, real talk. If Not I could make bank off of that, I would be making bank off of that. <laughs> I wouldn't even be sad at that. I would be like, look, I was just, this is money, man. All right, here we go. Again. Prom? That's so quiche and cliche that it's actually hip. Yeah, let's go to prom together. What a retro thing to do, right? Yeah! I can wear a oh, man, Freddy ball. won. It's going to be wonderful, but in an ironic way. You and Liam spent the night discussing obscure 70s TV shows and Hungarian literature. You both laughed a lot, and for once, Liam seemed to genuinely enjoy himself without the need for posing or judging other people. You notice his hand gently touching yours, and you know Liam well enough to know it wasn't accidental. Maybe falling in love isn't for posers after all. This summer. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. Well, congratulations, Beth. You you got most likely to never be understood. (laughs) That's just like real life. (laughs) Miranda's quote. (laughs) Oh, are we filing complaints? Well, not enough silverware diversity in the cafeteria. (laughs) Guess because you need a spoon to pick up a fork, which I don't think that's very sound in terms of stability on how. Wait, why did it? Why did it just show my person? I don't know. That's know. weird. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe they got one player MVP or something uh, like that. Those oh, two right. weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. 
that's what that girl is that we kept seeing. She's a witch. Oh. 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 But she's not a monster girl. She's a human. Wait, no. who's the slime? That? I have no idea. Is that so? That's Jim. I wish that... All know? right. As much as he doesn't have a model in this in this game, I really wish that Juan, the magical Latino cat, had a model. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, he's actually uh, in this photo. He's just so small we can't see him. Yeah, he's, he's down here. Uh, <laughs> also, I love that the, the DLC girl is just randomly in here. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. And, wait, I think it's that? No, that was Pete. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I was... After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Except for all of us that didn't go to prom, because yeah. our lives <laughs> became horrible. Yeah. No, mine was pretty fine. It was just the the prom was lame. I was just oh, sad. Scott about and Polly it. started attending yoga classes. They were highly underwhelmed by the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Vera realized she was a character in a video game, which infuriated her. <laughs> she spent her life yeah, making connections and building power because she's not a part of the game. She plays the game. Maybe now she's the one pulling your strings. Ooh. All right, but that's not a Doki Doki thing right uh, there. Liam honed his most admirable skill and got a job with it. He now designs Instagram filters, <laughs> which considering Instagram filters, hey, yeah. it's probably a good job. Yep. My, my uh, boyfriend does good. And then it was gone, just like that. The ba Still plenty of battles left in that war called youth. <laughs> once again, we were young and unafraid. So yeah, that went pretty horrible. That went well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that went for you. Yeah, Freddy won. Yep, Freddy won. To be fair, yeah. no one was go going after Liam. No. No. no, 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 What you mean is no one was going after Damien. Yes, yeah. also very Damien. painfully true. I will admit that if I did the, if I took the double square and went for him, it probably would have worked. worked. <laughs> ha ha, board games. Ha ha. Food. I feel like my character is 100% my speed, though, where you, like, you saw him back there just staring at the board. Oh, man, like, we're hey, all in a band, guys. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. oh the, the band's name is Player Character. That's actually really dope. Oh, wait, did it actually say that? I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah it died on the drum set. <laughs> oh, my God, it's Slayer. Slayer. Well, that's what? it. I still want to date the Slayer. <laughs> you know, Slayer's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. She's got that look of murder in her eyes. Mm. So fucking, I can fucking turn on. The oh. stage prop, fifteen dollars. She could stand. Look, all back I want anything. is a girl that can kill me. Is that so much to ask for? <laughs> uh, I'm sure, there's some on Craigslist. And all, Pete, all Pete wanted was to date the cat girl. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> very true. I would have just turned it all away and just gone for her. Oh god, mm. I, I can never remember that fucking that that quote of um. Why do I why do I like monster girls? Look, I'm just really into girls that are half beautiful woman and half something that can kill me. What's that? Hey, it's us. Yep, yep. Nine new images, oh, in, nine the new images in the gallery. All right, so that oh, was Monster man. Prom. I'm the only one who went to prom, unlike real life. Um, and remember, Monster Prom Two, Monster Camp out now. And we will eventually play that. If you like this one, <gasps> let us know. You can Dale. You can't game. forget our sponsor. Monster Energy. <laughs> no, That's we are right. not sponsored by Monster Energy. <laughs> yes, we Monster are. E Monster Energy, We're... the unofficial sponsor of Internet Nobodies. <laughs> we are also sponsored by Monster Trucks. And Monster Grave Com. Digger. It's Grave Digger. <laughs> and, and the Monster Mesh. Pay for the whole seat, but you only need the edge. <laughs> Monday, Monday, Monday. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>